Every one of these graves you see contains a human being just like you. They once used to watch television, just as you are now. They too would get up in the morning, wash their faces, have breakfast, and go to work or school. They once had people they loved, celebrities they admired, and cars, houses, and bills to pay. They too had their special moments, celebrating New Year or their birthdays, perhaps. Never for a moment imagining that in the same way that they had birthdays, they would one day have to die. Every self will taste death. Then you will be returned to us. The human mind finds it difficult to conceive of the size of the universe we live in and the order in it. It is estimated that the universe contains some 300 billion galaxies. Our Milky Way is just one of these. There are some 250 billion stars in the Milky Way. Our Sun is just one of those. In other words, there are more stars in the universe than there are grains of sand in all the beaches of the world. And our sun is just one of those grains of sand. The world we live in is not even as large as one of those grains of sand. As for man, a tiny creature living on this earth, he is as nothing in the magnificence of this giant universe. Yet, most of the time, man forgets all this and imagines that he is really very large. He lives in pride and arrogance. He forgets that he is a helpless creature created by God, that he will one day die and have to account for his deeds in the sight of God. Furthermore, he becomes passionately attached to this world, which is smaller than a grain of sand in the grand scale of the universe. And yet, 
every person will soon die and be buried in a tiny corner of this world. God will certainly show him how powerless he really is before he proceeds to the life of the hereafter. Unless a person dies young, the worst example of helplessness in the life of this world is old age. Most people spend their lives wrapped up in rushing to and fro. As time flows quickly by, days, months and years rush by in the blink of an eye. Yet for some reason people try to ignore this fact. It is as if they think they will never grow old. Yet the days of youth that they so fondly imagine will never end are really very short. Almost everyone realizes that he will grow old one day. Yet young people always feel that those days are very far off. They refuse to accept that they will one day be old, weak, and helpless. The two young people in this picture are good-looking, with clean and perfect skins and shining teeth. But there is another important detail. These pictures were taken in 1955. When this picture was taken, these two were most probably not giving any thought to the fact that they would one day grow old. Yet some 50 years or more have now gone by, and nothing remains of the youth and beauty in the picture. Time destroys everything. That is a law of the world. For example, a sweet, delicious and perfumed orange will eventually decay. An apple will rot in a very short time. Human beauty also fades easily. The skin, the most important component of human beauty, loses elasticity as time goes by, grows thin, and starts to sag. The shining, smooth skin of youth grows wrinkled with age. It loses all life, like dry mud. A young person's skin is taut, squeezed between the fingers and then released, it resumes its original state. But an old person's skin stays wrinkled, The hair turns white and falls out with old age. Every organ in the body receives its full share of the damage wreaked by old age. The nose and ears begin to sag, for instance. It is not only people's appearance that grows old, but their senses too. Since the nerve cells are not renewed, people suffer sensory loss as they grow older.
they begin to have poor vision and poor hearing. The damage and decay visible in the human body is a striking example of the transitory nature of the life of this world. Celebrities, artists, film stars and politicians whose beauty has amazed the world in their youth are very different in old age. They lose all that strength and beauty. I am the greatest. For instance, Sportsmen famed for their strength and stamina become weak and feeble in old age. The famous people you are now watching in youth and old age are a symbol of the transitory nature of this world. Your own skin will one day be exactly like that. And when you look in the mirror, this is exactly what you are going to see. Even at a very early age, while he is still filled with plans for the future, a person can fall ill and die. Millions of people in our time die while still young from cancer or similar incurable diseases. There are many viruses for which no cure has yet been found and a tiny virus is enough to end a person's life. Nobody can ever be certain that he will not one day fall prey to such a disease. For instance, one of the vessels in the brain can burst for no good reason. This little mark you see on this x-ray shows a vessel that has done just that. Such a burst in the brain can do terrible damage. Increasing blood pressure kills the brain cells and the individual may spend what remains of his life crippled, paralyzed or mentally handicapped. For instance, Jeremy Clive, the Cambridge University law student in this picture had great plans for the future. One day, however, he was suddenly taken ill and collapsed while working in his professor's room. He was immediately taken to hospital. One of the vessels in his brain had ruptured and he had suffered a severe stroke. The doctors operated at once, but he suffered severe brain damage. He showed her memory his academic career and dreams of becoming a lawyer all came to an end. 
He now forgot everything he saw and heard within five minutes. He was therefore obliged to tape everything he did. He even had to listen to a tape to tell him whether he had just had something to eat or not. From planning to be a successful lawyer, he suddenly turned into someone who was so helpless he could not remember what he had done five minutes previously, in need of constant care and attention. This picture is of 21-year-old Henri de Lotbinière. At the time it was taken, he was a successful university student. By the age of 42, he was a successful businessman, the father of two children. One morning, he felt a numbness in his face. When he went to the doctor, he learned he had cancer in the left side of his face. The cancer soon blinded him in the left eye. Toshigo Sozaki from Japan was a happily married, successful businesswoman. One day, however, she was taken ill and suffered damage to one part of her brain. A self-confident and wealthy businesswoman one day, her illness left her mentally handicapped the next. She was unable to meet even her most basic needs. Since she had lost all her memory, the career she had worked for all her life no longer held any meaning. In the face of these facts, a person must consider how meaningless passionate attachment to the life of this world is. He must realize that the things he possesses have actually been given to him temporarily, to test him. It is God who created man, and it is only him who can protect him from all danger. If he so chooses, God can give sickness to and damage the human body in such a manner as to remind man how helpless he is. This is because the world is a place of trial created by God. In that test, those who behave pleasingly in the sight of God and exhibit the kind of morality He has commanded will win the right to infinite life in paradise. The haughty and those who prefer a few dozen years in this world to infinite life in the next will be unable to avoid trials, helplessness, and woes in the hereafter. Sickness is not the only peril lying in wait in the life of this world. A person can die or be crippled in an accident. Newspapers report dozens of accidents every day. Before they lost their lives, 
The people in those stories never imagined that they were soon to die. Full of plans for the future and caught up in the hustle and bustle of daily life, they ended up dying in an accident. And it is very probable that among those watching this film, there will be young people or people who will die at a totally unexpected moment. You yourself could be one of them. This film may be your final warning to remind you of death and lead you to think about the hereafter. The helplessness that people encounter in their daily lives is nothing less than proof of the imperfect and transitory nature of the life of this world. This body needs to be constantly cleaned, fed, and cared for. People who consider themselves very beautiful or handsome, and who grow full of pride as a result, do not look at all good when they get up in the morning. A great many people regard these defects we have listed as quite normal. They do not wonder why they have been created so powerless and imperfect, in need of care and cleaning. Yet had God so wished, man would have had none of this weakness and imperfection. Other living things are not actually as needy as man. Flowers, for instance, are always perfectly clean and delightfully perfumed and have no concept of looking after themselves despite having emerged from the muddy soil. If God so wished, man could also be as clean as a flower at every moment of his life. Or else he might never fall ill, never experience pain and suffering. Yet man has deliberately been created imperfect, weak, and in need of care, in order that he should recognize his own helplessness. Everything in this world, created as a place of trial, is doomed to grow old, fade, and die. In Surah 57 of the Quran, God reminds us of the truth about the life of this world in these terms. Know that the life of this world is merely a game and a diversion and ostentation and a cause of boasting among yourselves and trying to outdo one another in wealth and children. Like the plant growth after rain which delights the cultivators, but then it withers and you see it turning yellow, and then it becomes broken stubble. In the hereafter there is terrible punishment, but also forgiveness from God and His good pleasure. The life of this world is nothing but the enjoyment of delusion. Alongside physical weakness in old age, there is another important proof of the transitory nature of the life of this world. Natural disasters. The world faces a possible danger from outer space. Meteors.
such a catastrophe has happened before. Scientists believe that a meteor strike was responsible for the extinction of the dinosaurs. A new meteor could strike at any time. Only one question remains. That menace, which the world faces the whole time, has been a source of inspiration behind Hollywood films. The film Armageddon portrayed the terrible destruction that small meteors could cause. Deep Impact dealt with a similar theme. The tidal waves set up by a giant meteor falling into the ocean swallow whole cities. These scenarios are more than just fantasy. Because our world really is exposed to such dangers all the time. If we imagine the Earth as being the size of an apple, the layer we live on is the skin of that apple. That layer we live on is really very thin and weak. Even a small blow from outside would suffice to tear it. And the dangers are not just in the sky. At the same time, they are right under our feet. Right under that skin we live on is a layer of magma several thousand degrees in temperature. That magma sometimes rises to the surface as a result of volcanic activity. Our world is truly hanging by a thread. Magnificent mountains explode as a result of the volcanic pressure beneath them. There is no way of avoiding such a disaster.
The magnificent structures, the splendid cities that people built so proudly would collapse in an instant. An earthquake takes place approximately every two minutes. But most of these are very light, and we do not even feel them. Yet if God so wished, there could be tremors so powerful as to affect the whole world, put an end to life on it, and destroy everything. In fact, the Earth is entirely suited to earthquakes, with its fault lines and the gaps in the tectonic layers. People generally imagine that technological advances and the lessons learned from experience can prevent such disasters. Whereas all the efforts to avoid them are sometimes in vain. One of the most recent examples of this was the violent earthquake in the Japanese city of Kobe in 1995. The Japanese had built the city with quake-resistant technology, but the shock tore it apart as if it had been made of paper. The Japanese had spent billions of dollars on research into a system that would give prior warning of earthquakes, but were unable to predict this one, which came from an unexpected direction. The buildings they said could stand up to the most powerful earthquake collapsed like paper houses. Earthquakes can sometimes lead to other unexpected disasters. An earthquake at the bottom of the ocean can give rise to the giant tidal waves known as tsunami. These waves can destroy whole coastal areas and their destructive effects sometimes reach unimaginable levels of violence. They have an average height of 30 meters, and they can occur with no warning. Hundreds of thousands of people have lost their lives because of these waves during the course of history. Such a wave can obliterate a whole coastal town. The images you are about to see were taken by a camera in the garage of a hotel built by the edge of the sea.
Shortly afterwards, a second wave hits. Atmospheric incidents such as typhoons and hurricanes are frequent occurrences. These terrible winds are sometimes powerful enough to tear up houses, buildings, trees, electricity pylons, cars, and people and hurl them into the air. Man is helpless in the face of the destructive effects of whirlwinds. A modern city can be devastated after a powerful storm. The yachts and villas people are so proud of owning can turn into heaps of scrap. Strong rains can lead to rivers overflowing their banks and flooding destroying in a moment everything in its path. Throughout history, millions of people have lost their lives as a result of such disasters. And many more people will continue to do so in the future. And most of those people will never for one moment have thought that their lives would end in such a manner. The most important thing is to learn from such disasters, which are warnings reminding man of his mortality and the transitory nature of the life of this world. Man must think about these disasters and realize that this world is not worth being passionately attached to, that it is not a place in which one can live forever. History is full of incidents warning that the life of this world is only transitory and that death is near. One of these warning incidents occurred in 1912, the worst maritime catastrophe in the history of the world. The Titanic, the largest and most luxurious liner that had ever been built, was described as the pride of the British. Fifty-five meters high and 275 long, the ship was technically speaking state-of-the-art. Many people said the Titanic was unsinkable. Yet it struck a giant iceberg on its first voyage and was seriously damaged and sank under the waters of the Atlantic in a terrifying manner. Some 90 years afterwards, the disaster was the subject of Hollywood films. One thousand five hundred passengers drowned in the icy waters. Since the ship was regarded as unsinkable, there were very few lifeboats on it. Among those who perished were wealthy and aristocratic people from Britain. 
The incident once again demonstrates that people cannot avoid the destiny that God has set out for them. The Titanic tragedy is a historical lesson, showing the kind of disasters that those who grow arrogant on account of their wealth and those who forget that God is the only absolute power can find themselves facing. One well-known example of people who grew proud and were then destroyed is the destruction of the ancient city of Pompeii. According to historians, 2,000 years ago the slopes of Mount Vesuvius were covered in vines. The city of Pompeii was built between those slopes and the sea and was generally the choice of wealthy Romans. Life in Pompeii was built on dissipation and perversion. The same applied to the neighboring city of Herculaneum. Yet one of the most violent volcanic eruptions in history put an end to the existence of these lovely places. The perverted life of the people of the city turned to stone by the volcanic lava can today be seen in all its detail. The wealth of civilizations that lived hundreds or even thousands of years ago served absolutely no purpose. What is left is their remains with their terrible message. This is how God reminds us that we need to learn from the fate of past peoples in Surah 30 of the Quran. Have they not traveled in the earth and seen the final fate of those before them? They had greater strength than them and cultivated the land and inhabited it in far greater numbers than they do. Their messengers also came to them with the clear signs. God would never have wronged them, but they wronged themselves. Alongside what has been covered so far, there is another very important matter that everyone needs to think about. One's own death. Most people try to avoid thinking about their own deaths. They prefer not to think that the day will come when they no longer are living in this world. And yet, death is all around. During the course of this film, some 6,000 people will die in the world. People do not witness death in their daily lives. Death is used to create excitement on television and in the cinema. 
Yet, death is actually the inevitable end awaiting everyone and is the greatest truth in the life of this world. Billions of people have so far lived and died in this world. Each one of the skeletons you see were once people like you, with ideals, families, and hopes for the future. Yet all that remains of them is these bones on display in a museum. None of these people who lived a hundred years ago is alive today. In another hundred years or so, all of the people you are seeing at the moment will be dead. And not just them, but everyone you know, love or dislike, and you yourself will be dead. Because every beat of your pulse in your veins brings you ever closer to the hour of your death. The concept known as time is actually a countdown to the hour of people's deaths. For instance, it is already ordained how many more days, hours and minutes everybody watching this film will live. And that remaining span is all the time drawing closer to zero. And eventually, the inevitable moment will arrive and the countdown will stop. Your heart that has beaten for so many years will cease to beat and you will breathe your last breath and death will take you away. Your body will begin to grow cold You are now watching images of a body growing cold after death, taken by a thermal imaging camera. Body temperature falls rapidly, and death moves through it. We must not forget that with death, a person embarks on his true life, one that will last forever. Every human being will be resurrected after death and have to account to God for his deeds. Those who believe in him with a sincere faith during their lives in this world, who truly serve him, and who repent their sins will find the reward in the endless blessings of paradise. But those who prefer the transitory attractions of the life of this world to God's good pleasure and the hereafter will suffer such torments as they had never imagined. That being the case, what man must do is to avoid being taken in by the transitory attractions of the life of this world. None of the beautiful things in this world must be an end for anyone. They are only a means. Man's true purpose is to serve God, who created him and gave him so many blessings, and to seek his good pleasure. Man must know that everything in the life of this world is only transitory. It is God who is timeless. Upwards, earth will be master of majesty and generosity.
In this film, we have examined the truth about the life of this world and have seen clear proof that this world is a temporary place. Everything in this world comes to an end, man included. Every human being sooner or later dies and goes to the hereafter, leaving everything he possessed in this world behind him. Being caught up in a passion for the worthless things of this world, turning one's back on religion for their sake, and leading a life full of ambition, tension and doubt, lead one to the most grievous loss possible. Everyone must surrender himself to God, trust in Him, and live by the values He has taught. He must be tolerant of and modest, forgiving and helpful to others. He must behave honestly, sincerely and justly, and be willing to make sacrifices. A person who displays these virtues will be protected from the temptations of selfish desires. Only in that way can he be saved. As God has revealed in the Quran, it is the people who are safeguarded from the avarice of their own selves who are successful. Attention! This film may be your final warning to remind you of death and lead you to think about the hereafter. Thank you.